Hello, my fellow homeschool friends. I'm so glad to have you here today. I am out of town, so I went ahead and made this video for you so we wouldn't get uh, behind and not do anything. Um, today, we are going to be drawing uh, an Indian elephant. You know, the, there are two kind of Af elephants, African and Indian. And Indian have the smaller ears. Africans have the great big ears. <laughs> so we're gonna do an Indian elephant today. I have my paper taped onto my board. I'm using a 6B pencil. I've got my um, kneaded eraser right here. I'm using this so you can see. Uh, I might not, I, I wouldn't draw with this normally, um, but I am so you can see. Okay, so we're gonna start here in the middle of the page. And we're gonna kinda come up a little bit and then kinda come over and now down. And one thing we wanna do is decide where our feet are gonna be. So I'm just gonna put a line right here, okay? So now I want my trunk to come all the way down to my feet. It's kinda turning. Going up. Here we put a little ellipse to show the other side. Come back down. It stays about the same thickness the trunk does until it gets up to about this point right here. And then we're gonna come on back over this way and form the head. And now we're going to come down here to the feet. It's a wide foot. Go back up about halfway, half the distance of the leg, and come across. And now here we go. We're going to come up higher. Okay, so now I might, um, because it's on there pretty heavy, it's kind of hard to to change, but I'm gonna make this a little, there we go, okay. I like that better. Now you can also here have a tusk coming out and it comes out just across the trunk. There's a, cur a curve there. It gets a little wider and then comes back to a point back here. Now, we have to get rid of, we have to do one of two things. We have to either get rid of this line and this line, and that's the beauty of having a kneaded eraser. You can make it into any shape you need it to be to get into those smaller areas. Okay, so you can get that off there. Or the other thing you can do is kind of darken it up a little bit. And you can do this with just little lines. You could do some cross hatching that comes across this way. making It makes little boxes, little X's all the way across. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so now the eye is somewhere, it's not too far over, but it's not right here in the middle either. So we're gonna put it like this. And now here comes, we're gonna give it a little bit of a white of an eye, but not much. Okay, so now we're gonna color in, fill in that eye except for one little white spot. I'm gonna leave one little white spot as the um, highlight in that eye, okay? So now we are going to take, you know how they have all that skin that's kinda, <laughs> kinda crazy there? <laughs> We're gonna put that in just by starting a spiral around the eye, there. You could make it closer together. You could do whatever you wanted with it. And we're gonna put a few little lines here. Okay. Now we can also have a few little lines here to show some wrinkles. Now just look how much difference that little thing did right there. There's some here. Put some wrinkles in there. Across the front. 
maybe up this way. Now this is the trunk inside the trunk you're looking at there. So that needs to be darker than the outside. Okay, remember their knees are kind of uh, wonky looking too. <laughs> so you decide where you want your knee. It's got to be somewhere between here and here, of course. So I, I kind of like the middle. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to make another spiral. And I'm making it go off the edge to give you the idea that this is, it comes all the way across, okay? So now here comes an ear. We have an ear. Okay, so an Indian elephant, their ears are not as big. And if you wanted to do an African, you could make it great big ear. You, this is your elephant, do whatever you want. <laughs> okay, so Indian elephants often have a lot of, um, they're dressed. <laughs> so we're gonna throw a hat on this elephant right in here. Now you can put, I don't care, stars, circles, um, box, you color it all in one color, use your, get out your colored pencils, all different sorts of shapes, whatever. Whatever you wanted to put on here would be fine. And then they usually have some kind of fringe. Just quick little strokes. Yep, they're gonna come down into the eye a little bit. Make sure you get at least one or two of them coming off the edge there. And then the same thing with the back of the elephant. And now you can make this match this. You could make this completely different. You could do stripes. You could put, make some squares, do it all one color, um, put some different things in the squares, make it a checkerboard kind of a thing. There's just all sorts of things you could do for, to decorate your, your own elephant. And then again, it has fringe. So there we have. Now you can also um, put in a little bit of the inner ear here. You can have some shadow going on here to define that ear a little better. You can put, you can see some of the underbelly here. So that would be a little darker. You could put some uh, where the leg bends right there. You could um, do some little toe things. There you go. <laughs> this is your elephant, so you do it however you want. I'm just showing you a method that it started about midway. You decided where your bottom of your leg would be. You brought your head and trunk all the way around to the bottom of the foot and then brought it back up and came over just a little bit beyond that part of the head. Okay, and then the leg came down, okay? So I hope that this has been fun for you. I hope you've enjoyed uh, drawing and decorating this elephant and I sure would love to see yours uh, when you finish it. I'd love to see you post it in our Homeschool Art Club page, Facebook page. Thanks a lot, have a great day, see you later.